What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be putting a sleeper exhaust on the sleeper Civic. And then we can drive it. We are working on the sleeper Civic again today. The exhaust manifold, turbo manifold, everything off of here. This is a Garrett, it's a GT3084R thing. It's like this 3582 like exhaust wheel with a 3076, technically like compressor size. This is a top mount manifold. I didn't really like it. You can't run an air filter. So I have, this is a PFAB ram horn manifold for a D-Series that I've literally had this manifold for like 10 years. It came with a Honda Civic I got a long time ago. I haven't really done much with it. It's basically just been kicking around everywhere I've been. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that on here. And one of the goals too, obviously with this thing being a sleeper. We do not want this thing to be super loud and obnoxious on the street. We want to be able to put a hood on it. We were gonna we want to put a front bumper on it. And the plans is we're gonna install an exhaust cutout so you could actually drive this thing around in stealth mode and then uh, like paint the intercooler black, put it all small behind the bumper. And this thing is essentially gonna be a really, really rowdy sleeper. So Blake went ahead, cleaned up the interior. It's honestly crazy how clean this interior actually is, but Looks really good. We need to figure out some gauge mounting and stuff like that, but we're gonna go ahead and continue with this turbo manifold swap. We might get started on messing with a downpipe. Actually messing with the new welder right here because I haven't messed with this TIG welder yet. So really excited to start playing with that. So yesterday we ran into a little bit of a speed bump with this turbo manifold. So right here, this flange for the wastegate, this is like a 30 millimeter uh, two bolt flange right in the way it was touching the end of the turbo housing. So I actually have a V-band 44 mil wastegate. So we're gonna go ahead and cut off some of this flange, weld that on here, and then we'll actually put the turbo on here. I, I really do like the way that this ram horn does look compared to the, the top mount. I think it'll give it a little bit more of that like, you know, you pop the hood, the other, I don't know, it just didn't look that clean. This is gonna be like, oh, wow, that's 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 impressive looking. So we're gonna get on that. Sean is priming some stuff on the wagon real quick, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this turbo manifold off and get it ready to cut and weld on that new flange. We're gonna bolt the turbo on it and then uh, put the hood on it, figure out the front bumper. This thing's gonna be sick, sick, sick. All right guys, so we're getting ready to weld that turbo manifold. This is gonna be my first time welding with a new HTP Inverte. It's a 221 ACDC, so that means you can do aluminum and stainless steel. And uh, I'm pretty stoked to, uh, to actually, you know, try out this machine. I had that uh, Everlast before and ended up having some like kind of weird arc stability issues with it. Uh, so I ended up getting rid of that. So it happened at the same time, started working with HTP. So they actually have a discount code that they gave me. I think it's five or 10% off on uh, on usaweld.com, which is their company that they basically sell everything under. Put the link to that in the description, but I'm, I'm stoked to be uh, trying this thing out, using it. All of my other YouTube buddies, like Cletus and the Booster Boys, they all have pretty much these same exact machines and uh, they absolutely love them. So I'm stoked to try them too.
All right, guys, so up underneath the car, went ahead, down pipe comes down a little bit over here. Then we have this guy right here. So that is our uh, electronic cutout valve. So it goes from two and a half inch to like inch and seven eighths right here. But when we have this valve open, it'll, uh, it'll be full two and a half. So I hope that, you know, the, the exhaust flow goes out right there. Probably put like a little turn down right here. So it kind of turns down a little bit. For what? Turn down for what? I mean, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking, but. Stole my joke. <laughs> but I think that'll work. So there's a little electronic guy. So we'll just run that up. She should be good. I'm, I'm curious how it's gonna sound. It, I mean, it's gonna be silent. All we're gonna hear is like the valves. Helmet's gonna, it's gonna be silent but deadly. <laughs> silent but deadly? <laughs> All right guys, so we just went ahead and did the first start of this. So the wastegate is open because we have the firing out of it, but check this out. There is our uh, little exhaust flap right there. Hit the button. Now we have custom exhaust. Wide exhaust. Sleepy boy. So now we have a full sleeper Civic. Oh, I found, I found it. Maybe we should put it on the key ring. All right, fire it up. Oh. has dual valve springs and retainers so you will hear a little bit of valve train stuff in it but uh, that is quiet You look like you belong in this thing. <laughs> I, I had an older one of these. That's OG. I heard it. A Give it a rev again. That is it. That right there, guys, is a full custom exhaust. Should we show them the bottom? I don't think we showed them. Oh, Let's yeah. go up. Turn All right, turn, turn off. All right, so we have our two and a half inch downpipe that goes down there. We got the O2 bung welded on there. And this this right here is the, the little box that it has. So it uses the 12 volt from your cigarette lighter, goes into that, and then you use this little uh, little exhaust oh, flapper right there. Man, I, just, I really like that ram horn look of it. I think it just looks so much cooler. So. I feel like that's, what, that's like Turbo Honda's look like. I feel like it makes it look more rowdy yeah. than just kind of having, I don't know, like the top mount is cool, but this is just a really, beautiful manifold so we're gonna raise this thing up and show you guys the exhaust comes down here and then it splits into this y with that a little it looks like a window motor like a window regulator mm -hmm. motor or something but I mean, got a custom yeah. v-band so the engine in here is pretty much solid pretty solid mounted because it has these billet inserts right here for the front it has a like a hasport style mount in the back and then it has polyurethane mounts so it doesn't really rock so i don't think we really need a big flex section on here and this exhaust back here is tied in with all rubber hangers. So this is the stock exhaust. So this is the resonator and this is the big old giant muffler from the factory. And this thing is quiet. Like it is so quiet now. Oh, with the little flapper, I wish it would do it right now, but there's no ignition on. yeah, the ignition isn't on. But yeah, that's just kind of hilarious how, how quiet this thing does. And we'll put a little turn down thing on it for the next time. But overall, that is what the exhaust looks like. Sleeper Civic is now a sleeper Civic. Got that sleepy boy exhaust. So next thing we need to do is make intercooler piping. I went ahead and threw the bumper on. Got this thing just zip tied on right now. I need to make some different inlets and outlets and stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be probably the next video that you guys will see.